The Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls presents our feature artist. We meet this week's artist in snow-covered Holland Patton. The studio is still warm from the kiln that was fired up the day before. We interview potter Art Baird against the euphonic pinging of the cooling porcelain. I had done some pottery uh, in high school with uh, Vincent Clemente at the uh, Munson Williams Proctor Institute and liked it. And after uh, college, I uh, did some more with him and then uh, we moved out to Seattle and I took it up full time. We moved here in 72 uh, and been here ever since. So. I work in high fire porcelain and stoneware. Um, most recently mainly porcelain. Big inspiration is from uh, Japanese folk potters uh, and uh, um, the American salt glaze pottery of the uh, 18th century, 19th century. Uh, and from there I've developed, but uh, those are a strong background for what uh, I think about. Well, every day is different. Uh, uh, more, it's more of a cycle. I uh, first will make a bunch of pots on the potter's wheel or hand build them and then they have to dry to a certain stage called leather hard and then I will uh, do finishing work on it at that stage then, and then they get uh, fired in the electric kilns, bisque firing, and then I glaze them after they come out of that and then fire the uh, gas kiln that does the glaze firing. Mm -hmm. uh, and the whole process takes about four weeks from the, first, from the first time I make the pot to when I can unload it, four to six weeks. Oh, clay is so, there's so much you can do with it that uh, there's no limits. I got more ideas than I have time to make them, so I limit myself, but there's a ton of other things I do. You can admire or purchase Art's Pottery at Sunflower Naturals in Barneveld and at the Munson Williams Proctor Art Shop in Utica. Or visit him online at artbairdpottery.com. Yeah,